So this video is probably one of the most highly requested videos on my channel, my jewelry collection video. And I thought that I would bring you into my closet and film it here because in my opinion, it's probably the most appropriate place to film this kind of a video. So I thought that I would take you through some of my absolute favorite pieces, the ones that I hands down wear the most and the ones that mean the most to me. Majority of my jewelry is gold. I'm definitely a gold kind of girl when it comes to my jewelry. I do have a very few silver pieces or white gold pieces that I love and wear and like to mix and match with my gold pieces. I am definitely not against mixing metals. I think mixing metals is actually really, really cool. Today I have some mixed metals on my neck. So I have this white gold tennis choker necklace that I layered with some gold jewelry. I just feel like it looks a lot more effortless and chic. I'm also going to be showing you some of my favorite ways to combine different pieces together and make it look really, really good. So if you're wondering how I like to layer on bracelets or rings or necklaces or earrings, I'm going to be showing you all of that in today's video as well. And with that, let's just hop right in because I'm really excited to show you some of the pieces that mean the most to me. So I'm gonna start with the pieces that I'm already wearing today. I have some new pieces from Ana Luisa. For those of you who don't know, I am a brand ambassador for Ana Luisa. I've been working with them for a couple of years and they are honestly one of the most amazing companies that I've ever had the honor of working with. They work with real artisans to create one of a kind jewelry that will stand the test of time. They also use recycled materials in their pieces. All of their pieces are super, super high quality Quality, very affordable. They make amazing layering pieces. And for those of you who don't know, I also created my own jewelry piece with Ana Luisa that you guys love so much that it's on the bestsellers list on their website. So I'm gonna start from the top. These are the earrings that I created in collaboration with Ana Luisa at the beginning of this year. These are 14 karat gold plated brass earrings encrusted with cubic zirconia crystals that spell out the word love. These are ear jackets and they're totally customizable. You can make them lower or higher on your earlobe depending on where your ear piercing is. And they actually come with fresh water pearls as the main stud. As you can see today, I swapped out the fresh water pearls for just plain gold crystal studs. So sometimes I will swap out the fresh water pearls when I want to wear more different kinds of earrings on my ear so that they don't clash too much with the fresh water pearls. The fresh water pearls are great if you have a minimal stack on your earring that way all of the attention will be on the ear jacket these earrings can be worn in so many different ways you can wear them with the freshwater pearls you can take out one of the ear jackets and have a pearl on one side and the full earring on the other side you can also just wear the freshwater pearls on their own and as you can see today you can wear them with a different type of stud which I love so much the next earring that I have on this ear is another new piece from Ana Luisa this is kind of like a a crystal gold huggy hoop earring and it has like a starburst on it which I think is really really pretty so next to this little starburst huggy earring I have this beautiful hoop earring from APM Monaco with the initial a dangling for my daughter Ari and then up here I have two of my most recent piercings that still for some reason haven't healed completely so I just put in two little 14 karat gold studs in there just so they would heal faster you can't really see them unless you look really up close but eventually I would like to swap them out for some either diamond huggies or something like that so that you could actually see them and I can get a little bit more creative with them on this side I have my ear jacket with Ana Luisa and then right next to it I have another Ana Luisa piece that I love so much I wear this one all the time it's basically a little crystal open-ended hoop that you loop through your ear piercing so it's very dainty and minimal 
minimalistic, but it's definitely really special. And next to that, I have just a plain crystal hoop earring. And this bold ear cuff is also from Ana Luisa. I actually have two of these because I'm just so in love with them and they instantly make any earring combination look so much cooler and more dramatic. So this is definitely a staple in my collection. On my neck, I have this dainty white gold tennis necklace that I've been obsessed with in general. I've been really in love with tennis necklaces and tennis bracelets. They're not only timeless and classic, but I also think that's a really cool piece to mix and match with other types of jewelry in your collection, especially if it's something more trendy. It kind of grounds the stack that you're creating and makes it more wearable. So for example, what I'm wearing right now is a little bit more on the trendy side. I have this gold chain necklace that I got from Etsy. I didn't know, but apparently Tiffany has a piece that looks just like this. And I didn't know this until after I purchased this from Etsy. I don't remember what the name of the Etsy shop was, but if I can find it, I'll link it down below for you guys. And this piece with this little lion charm is very, very special to me because I got this in celebration of my daughter's first birthday. So for those of you who don't know, her name Ariella actually means Lion of God in Hebrew. So that's why the symbol of a lion is very, very sentimental to me and my family. So I thought that when she's older and she's gonna be old enough to wear jewelry that I would hand this down to her and it would have a lot of history and memories attached to it. So hopefully one day she'll be able to wear it and love it just as much as I do. And this is from the brand Alighieri, I believe it's called. It's an Italian brand, but again, I will link it down below. Okay, so on my wrist, I'm gonna start with my right arm. I have this really beautiful link bracelet from Ana Luisa. I had this bracelet for a while, but I misplaced it. So I ended up getting another one because I loved it so much. And I literally wear this every single day. And I just paired it with these two gold bracelets that I got from another Etsy seller. Again, I will link everything down below. This is also one of my favorite rings from Ana Luisa. This is kind of like a twisted ring. They like to call the croissant because it looks like a croissant. And next to that is a new piece that I received from a designer. I think the name was German Kabinsky. He has such unique beautiful pieces that literally look like works of art. This is probably one of his most simple pieces. I don't remember what kind of stones these are, but these are semi-precious stones set in this really beautiful, like raw and organic shaped ring. And I am just so obsessed with this piece and I would definitely like to own more of them because they are very, very special. On this wrist, I have another tennis bracelet, but this one is 14 karat gold. And next to that is this very special special bangle bracelet that was gifted to me from the brand Elise Page. And it has my daughter's name written on it. It says Ariella Blake in crystal letters. And I just love this. As you can see, this is a silver piece, but the letters are gold and the heart is in, I believe it's white gold. So it makes it easy to mix and match with different types of metals in my collection. And of course I have my a wedding band and my engagement ring, which is platinum, which is a silver shade. And as you can see, it goes nicely with my gold and silver and white gold jewelry. So that is everything that I'm wearing today. I'm first gonna start off with my little jewelry box that sits on my vanity in my bathroom because in this jewelry box are the pieces in my collection that I wear the most on a daily basis. It looks a little bit empty right now because I'm already wearing some of the pieces today, but I will go through each of the pieces and tell you where they're from and why I love them so much so that you can see them in more detail. So I'm gonna start off with the earrings that are hanging up here. So as you can see, I have another Ana Luisa ear cuff. It's the exact same ear cuff that I'm wearing on my left ear. Then I have these two beautiful gold safety pin earrings. These are also from Ana Luisa. I love wearing these. They're super cool, very, very high quality. I'm pretty sure these are sterling silver plated with 14 karat gold. You're gonna notice that majority of my earrings are hoops and little studs because I feel like those types of earrings are the easiest to mix and match with different pieces in a jewelry collection. They're also the easiest to mix and match. So if you're not used to mixing and matching jewelry and you're just starting out, invest in some really high quality studs and hoops that will not tarnish because I promise you they will be staples in your jewelry collection. Another thing you're gonna notice is that the pieces that I don't wear so often, they are not made out of solid gold or white gold. And the reason for that is, 
I personally do not think that investing in jewelry makes a lot of financial sense, especially for someone like me who doesn't wear all of these pieces on a regular basis. For those of you who don't know, I actually used to have a jewelry business, so I know a lot about the business. I know a lot about the materials and the market, and I just made a decision after that that I wouldn't be investing in super expensive pieces because I personally just don't put value on it. I also don't purchase a lot of jewelry. A lot of the pieces that I'm going to be showing you were either gifted to me or handed down to me. So they have a lot of sentimental value to me and they're pieces that I will never ever get rid of because they are so, so special. This is a recent purchase that I made a couple months ago from APM Monaco. I love these earrings. These are so unique and so cool. I'm pretty sure these are sterling silver plated in 14 karat yellow gold with Swarovski crystals. So as you can see, it is like a starburst eye on one hoop and just a plain crystal hoop on the other. They're very dainty and delicate, but really unique and cool at the same time. And I love asymmetrical jewelry. I feel like it's a lot more interesting than the usual pieces that you'd be used to seeing. Then I have the second starburst hoop from Ana Luisa to this one that I'm wearing here. I have dome gold ring from Ana Luisa that I wear pretty much on a daily basis. I love it so much. These are also pretty recent from Ana Luisa. They're like these gold hoops that are in the shape of a rounded rectangle. And I think these are so cool and they're definitely a piece that you can easily wear on a daily basis and look great stacked with other types of jewelry. These hoop earrings are another Ana Luisa piece. As you can see, I have a lot of Ana Luisa pieces because I genuinely love them and wear them all the time. As you can see, they're in the same twisted kind of croissant shape as my ring. So if you wanted to, you can wear it as a set. I like to wear them as a set and also mix and match them with other pieces in my collection. This ring is super, super special because it used to be my grandfather's. So this is solid gold and I'm pretty sure that the stone in it is onyx. He used to wear this all the time. He passed away a year ago. So this is something that was handed down to me by my family and I had it resized so that I would be able to wear it as well. So this is a very, very special piece in my collection and it's something that I will keep forever and ever. These freshwater pearl studs are the pearl studs that come with the love ear jacket earrings that I'm wearing today. So as you can see, they're really beautiful, really dainty and they look beautiful worn alone or together with the ear jackets. And the last two pieces in my jewelry box is a stack of necklaces that I like to wear together. I love the look of these necklaces alone, but especially together, they look so, so beautiful. And I'm pretty sure this was a combination that I wore almost throughout the entire summer. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a very delicate, dainty gold necklace. And it has my husband's name and my daughter's name spelled out. So it says Vlad Hart Ariella. So it's very, very special. And I just love the look of these delicate letters against the skin. And I love stacking it with this Figaro gold necklace from Ana Luisa. This style of chain, which is called Figaro, has a very kind of masculine vibe to it, but because it's not so thick, you can easily stack it with something delicate and dainty like this. And I just think that it creates the most beautiful juxtaposition because the custom necklace that I showed you with my husband's and daughter's name on it is very delicate and very feminine. And when you pair it with something a little bit more masculine, it creates more of like a laid back edgy kind of vibe, which I really, really love. So these two necklaces, I usually keep them together because I love the look of them together. So these trays that you see here, I got them on Amazon. I get asked about these trays all the time. So if I can find them, I'm going to link them down below. I got myself a ring tray and also this kind of tray that has little squares laid out because I thought it would be perfect for organizing my earrings and this open tray, which I think is great for storing necklaces, bracelets, and watches and anything else that kind of would not fit in the other trays, such as this chunky ring that wouldn't fit into one of the ring slots, I keep here as well. So I'm gonna start from my left and go on to the right. I'm gonna start off with rings. A lot of these rings are really, really old and have a lot of history to them. This ring over here is a rose gold ring with a genuine amethyst in the middle. I honestly do not wear this ring a lot because it 
used to belong to my grandmother that passed away when I was only five years old. And this was a heirloom that was passed on to me from my family. It is very outdated, but it's still a piece that I will always have in my collection because it was hers. And every time I look at it, I remember her. I'm still debating whether or not I would like to maybe melt it down and reset it into another type of jewelry piece that I would get more wear out of. But I always feel so guilty about changing it in any way because I just don't want to take away that history behind this piece. So I haven't touched it and I just leave it in my collection as it is. And every time I look at it, I just remember my grandmother. So a lot of these silver pieces are very old. I got them when I was going through like a love for silver phase, but I'll pick out the ones that have the most meaning to me and share them with you. This white gold ring with diamonds in it is the very first piece of diamond jewelry that I received as a gift. This was a one year anniversary gift, one year dating anniversary gift from my now husband who was my boyfriend. So I got this when I was probably 15 or 16 years old. Yes, I have been with my now husband for 10 years before we got married and we have been married for six years. So we have been together for 16 years of my life, which was more than half of my life, which is crazy. So this is a very special piece to me because he gave it to me. And even though I don't wear it as much now as I used to, it's still a very special piece because it just reminds me of our relationship when we first started dating. This is another piece that I have fond memories about. This is a ring, a sterling silver ring that I got from Andorra when we were in Italy. So this was our first trip to Italy together, my husband and I, and we just had so many amazing memories there that I just wanted a keepsake for myself that I can hang on to forever and just look at and remember everything that we did when we were in Italy. This ring is another special piece in my collection. This is one of the most recent ones in my collection and another one of the only genuine pieces that I have in terms of being like solid gold and solid white gold with diamonds. I don't have a lot of real diamond jewelry because like I said, I just don't find value in it. So aside from my wedding ring and my wedding bands, I don't own a lot of diamond jewelry. So this was a piece that was gifted to me on my 30th birthday this year. And it was a gift from my mom, my brother, and also my grandfather who passed away. He actually took part in creating this ring for me before he passed away. So that's one of the other reasons why this piece is so, so special. So this is solid yellow gold with white gold diamonds. And I'm pretty sure this is called Smoky Quartz. And it's a piece that I will cherish in my collection forever. Next to that, I have this gold vermeil piece from Missouri. This is one of the first pieces that I purchased from Missouri, and it's a brand that I love so much. I'm pretty sure they're also Canadian, which is incredible. I love supporting local businesses. And this is a signet ring that has the constellation for my star sign Aquarius. So I purchased this a couple years ago, and it's one of my favorite pieces in my collection for sure. So those were the most special pieces of my ring collection I wanted to share with you. And next I'm gonna be sharing with you my earring collection. So I have some earrings in my collection that are a little bit more bold, that are more for like going out and special occasions. But to be honest, I don't get a lot of wear out of them, especially in the year 2020, when majority of us are not really going anywhere. So unfortunately, a lot of my big like bold standout pieces, they don't get a lot of wear right now. I used to wear the earrings in this row so, so much, especially my vintage Chanel earrings. These were handed down to me by my grandmother on my dad's side. These are probably over 30 years old for sure. So they look like they're beat up, but honestly, they are probably my most favorite earrings in my earring collection. These bold turquoise earrings also used to be my grandmother's and I always get asked about them every time I wear them. These gold hoop earrings, which are genuine solid gold are also from my grandmother. And I think these are really, really cool, especially in the fall and winter months because they have this dark blue and red coloring on them. These gold hoop earrings are also from a local Canadian designer called Kuchara. I love these hoop earrings. I think they're so different, so cool, and they're definitely 
definitely great for stacking. These ear crawlers, I don't remember where they're from, but they look super, super cool. Unfortunately, I don't wear them often because they are very, very uncomfortable. So even if I could remember where I got them from, I would not recommend them because they are super uncomfortable. This is one of the first pieces that I received from Ana Luisa. These are like square hammered earrings that I think are so, so unique and so cool. One of the pieces that made me fall in love with them. This is another Ana Luisa pair that I'm obsessed with. It's another one of my favorites. These are genuine freshwater pearls and they have these little colored crystals in them that make them look so unique and so special. I have another lion charm. This is in the form of an earring. These earrings in this little compartment are from, are from a Danish brand called Primrose Jewelry and they make these really unique and special pieces. Most of them I believe are hoop earrings and they just have like all these little charms dangling from them that I thought was really sweet. Then as you can see, I have a lot of stud earrings. Studs and hoops are an essential in my collection because like I said in the beginning, they're great for stacking and mixing and matching with different pieces in your collection. So I have hoops here, hoops here, more hoops. This is another pair of hoops from Ana Luisa that just have this simple crystal on them that I also think are really, really cool. This is another one of my favorite pair of earrings to wear from Ana Luisa. They're these double chain link dangling earrings that I used to wear a lot and I definitely should be wearing a lot more because I love those. They're so cool. This pair of solid gold Chanel stud earrings is another piece that was handed down to me from my grandmother on my mom's side. So this beautiful amethyst ring and these Chanel earrings used to belong to hers. These earrings, I kid you not, are probably my most worn earrings ever, ever, ever. I love these so much and I will always have them. These Dior Trebal earrings I purchased years ago and it was actually my very first designer jewelry purchase. Usually I would not spend money on designer jewelry because I just think that it's ridiculously overpriced for what you're getting. This is not even real pearls, but considering how much wear I've got out of these earrings over the years, I definitely think these earrings were worth it. I also like to remix these earrings by putting like a little charm on the stud. This charm definitely does not come with these earrings, but I added it on myself and I think that it makes these look even more unique and more special, especially if you are stacking them with other types of earrings on your ears. So now I'm going to move on to the last tray, which is my necklaces, my bracelets, and I have a watch. I'm not really a watch wearer. I don't wear watches often because I feel like a lot of watches just don't look good on me and I just feel like it's not me. A lot of men and women feel like their wrist is naked without a watch. For me personally, I feel the opposite. I feel really weird when I have a watch on my wrist. But this watch is special because it is a vintage Omega watch that was handed down to me by my grandmother on my dad's side. She used to wear this watch a lot and it's actually in very, very good condition considering how long she's had this for. It has a sapphire dial and I'm pretty sure this is plated in gold. So the quality is really, really really good. It had its original box and everything. So she maintained it really, really beautifully. I have a bunch of dainty gold chain necklaces. I love having these in my collection because they're just such a staple for layering. This is one of my favorite layering pieces. It's actually another Ana Luisa piece. This one is great because you can wear it two ways. You can either wear it with the lock facing this way, or you can wear it with lock facing behind you. So you can get more than one wear out of this piece and it's the same gold link design as my bracelet that I wear every single day and I just I love this one so much. I have two more necklaces that I had custom made with my daughter's initials or name. One of the pieces is this one that has the initial for her first and middle name Ariella Blake. This one is more on a longer chain so this piece I love layering with something like this. 
This is a snake chain in a very similar length. So when you pair them together, it looks really, really cool in my opinion. The other custom necklace that I have with my daughter's name is this one. It says Ari. I'm pretty sure that this custom necklace and the one that I showed you in my jewelry box is from the same shop on Etsy. I get asked about these custom necklaces all the time. So I will of course link them down below for you so you guys can check them out. These two necklaces are also really, really cool. I should wear them more because I love them so much. These are also from a local designer in Toronto. The shop is called Livy Jewelry. I actually met the girls behind the brand, I believe two years ago. And they're super sweet, super hardworking, and they're very, very passionate about jewelry. And I just love these pieces and I definitely need to wear them more. This is another one of my favorite layering pieces. This is like a smaller link chain necklace to the Ana Luisa one I just showed you. It's definitely a staple in my jewelry collection. This is the most bold necklace that I own and I love it so much. It's so beautifully well made. It has a very substantial weight to it and it's by an Israeli designer. Her Etsy shop is called Oh My Gat. I just love this piece so much. I love wearing it on its own. I love layering it with other pieces in my collection and I definitely want to order more from her because the quality is just incredible. This is another tennis necklace that I received recently from Trend Savvy. I don't remember the designer, but this is sterling silver plated in gold and it has like these rainbow crystals throughout and I think it's just really unique and cool. And then the last necklace that I wanted to share with you guys is this vintage necklace with this really cool gold chain. This used to belong to my mom's and I love this lock on it. I think it's super unique and super special and it's another piece that you can wear either facing this way or facing this way depending on whether you're wearing it alone as a statement piece or layering it with other pieces in your collection. And the last piece I wanted to share with you guys in my jewelry collection is this thick gold band with panthers on it. This is another piece that was handed down to me. It is a vintage ring that used to belong to my mom and I love wearing this one. I think it looks super cool and super unique, obviously not stacked with this ring, but I definitely wear it a lot and it's always going to be in my collection because of its history. So that wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and it was worth the wait. Let me know in the comments which were your favorite pieces. I'm going to try to link everything in my description box below. For the Ana Luisa pieces, I should have a discount code for you guys. If not, there will be a discount on their actual website. So I'm going to link everything in my description box. Make sure you check that out. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.